Success is something you attract by the person you become. Success is something you attract by the person you become. All right, guys, so today we're going to be starting off with me in the beginning of the morning and hanging out with me during the day here. We're going to go through the whole day with me and what I normally do. So you guys see I start off early. I take it serious because I have a goal that I want to do daily. And that's what I think everybody should do. Whatever career that you're in, you want to have a goal. That way you have something to achieve and something to go after. So you just don't want to wander around and try to just see whatever happens. You want to try to take advantage of each day. We're going to go through my normal day of what I do. I got some cool things to show you guys and we're going to go through some jobs to get stuff painted and show you how I handle my day. So, all right, so I start off the day. I always bring my lunch in. That way I don't have to stop and go get something because to me, that hour really slows you down. That's just what I do. If something works better for you, go ahead and do it. If you guys have a better plan that's gonna work better for me, let me know and I'll think about trying it out. All right, so you guys see that I have everything primer the night before. You wanna make sure you get your primer done the night before. That way when you come in, your primer is hard. You're not gonna have to worry about it shrinking up on you and you're gonna have a nice solid primer to go ahead and get ready to sand. So first thing I do is uh, open up the booth all right so first thing i do is i come in turn on the booth and then i'll pull my parts out that i did the night before so these were three different jobs here that i did we had a uh, prius in pearl code 089 and then we also had a uh, tailgate for a highlander that was the same code on it and these new highlanders they're doing these like the rogues that i can't stand that have the uh masked off interior on them because they're a one piece glued together composite tailgate and uh, they're just another pain. So this happened to be the same color as the Prius. So I went ahead and stuck it in here. You wanna make sure if you got the same colors in the shop, forecast out what's coming around the shop that's gonna be coming into the paint shop. That way, if you have the same color, you can go ahead and try to do those together. That way you can maximize your paint and your uh, day. That way you can do the same color at the same time. So here's the uh, hood for that Subaru that we did the PDR work on in the shop. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing back on the vehicle here today. I'll show you that job, how beautiful it came out. And this is now the only piece that we had to paint for that job. And this is a brand new OEM hood on it. So that's gonna be one beautiful job all finished up. While I'm inside the booth and I can see my dirt, I'll go ahead and hit my nibs on anything. And that way, once I get them out of here, I already have them marked and I don't have to go looking around for them because it's hard to do inside the shop with the lighting sometimes. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll get them out and then we'll do our next step of the day. So I'll bring in a little piece of 2000 and just mark my nibs where I have them. That way when I get out, I'm able to uh, get them buffed out here. So we don't have many. We have like three nibs in this hood here and I'll mark them. That way we're ready to go with it. So you guys can see it came out nice and clean. You're always gonna get a couple pieces of dirt and stuff. That's just part of the business. So, so let's look over these. These here look like they are good. I don't see any dirt in the fender. The tailgate looks like it came out clean. So we'll get most of these out of here without doing any polishing on them. And uh, they'll be able to go right back on the vehicle. The body man can start building these up here. So let's go get, get these out. And then uh, we'll start hitting the nibs and then we'll move on to our next stage of the day. All right, so we're gonna take our parts out and the parts that don't need buffing, we'll go ahead and put them right into the area where the body men go ahead and pick them up. That way they can build their vehicles. We got an area that we keep next to the booth here where all our painted parts go. That way we have them ready for the body men. When they know they're over here, they know that they're ready for them to go ahead and build the vehicle. So we have more of the PDR work in here. So we still have those guys doing their thing in the shop and uh, taking care of the dents. And I'm enjoying it, watching them do their thing because it is definitely a cool trade to be in. So this here is a nice ZR2 truck Chevy and uh, they're hit pretty hard. So they're in here doing their thing and we'll go around the shop and show you some of the other stuff that's going on too today in our day.
All right, so we're all buffed out. And you guys seen, I use my small buffer with my compound first. I like to keep it small with this one. That way I don't make a lot of uh, scratches in it because you guys know that that compound does like to scratch as it is eliminating the sand scratches from the actual sandpaper. So keep it small with your small one. And then I go into my bigger seven inch pad with my polish. That way I can take over the area and uh, get it buffed out. And it's a bigger pad. That way it takes out the scratches faster and you're not scratching it up. So I like the small one for the compound and the big one for the polish. All right, so now that all our polishing is done, we're gonna go ahead and put this over where it goes for the body men. That way that Subaru can go home. Once this hood is installed, it'll get cleaned up and then we'll show it to you guys. But I like to take care of my stuff for the buffing early in the morning. That way I know it's out of my uh, hair for the day and then I can just start uh, producing. So I come in early, get this all taken care of and then get into my normal day and I'll show you my cart for the buffing. And then I have everything on my cart mobile. That way I can bring it right over to whatever I'm buffing get it handled without having to go back and forth looking for other things. So now that we're done with that part, we'll get this pushed back into its area where I uh, leave it and we'll get into the prep day. All right, so the first thing we're gonna jump on here is this hood and then blend two fenders. This was another peeler job that we stripped down to bare metal last night. I went ahead and hit it with my metal prep and uh, that way it treats it, it etches it, and then we'll get into how we're gonna shoot this one. So this is ready. We'll get this in the booth and we'll blend the fenders. We'll get them prepped out and I'll show you that. All right, so this is the product that I prep the hoods out the night before. That way while they're sitting in the shop, they're treated. And then I'll come in in the morning and lightly scuff them with 400. Make sure you use gloves because your oils will stain this and could have rust later. So once this is applied, I let it sit overnight. I'll come in, I'll knock down the hood lightly with a, a piece of 400 grit because it likes to uh, gather up any leftover residuals and try to treat this hood. Sometimes you'll get some crustaceans from the actual product trying to do its job. So I'll lightly go over this now with a 400 by hand. And this hood here was finished out with 180 grit. So you're able to move right into your uh, primer and sealer. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. So this is the procedure that I do that works good. That way you do not have to prime this, sand it, and get back into uh, doing all that prepping. All right, these are the fenders for the blends for that hood there. And we're gonna go ahead now and get off the writing on here and hit them with our waterborne cleaner, get them scuffed up, and then prep them for 800 grit for our blends. I like to wipe off the actual writing before I start scrubbing them down and scuffing them. That way I don't get any of that writing in the actual sand scratch. All right, so I like to hit mine with a red scotch sprite all around the edges, get it cleaned up and scuffed. That way I'm cleaning it, scuffing it, and doing two steps at the same time. That way you hit your edges for your blends, and then you can just run around it with your normal prep work, your DA, or whatever way that you guys like to do your blends. This is just the way that I do it, and it's worked best for me. So I scuff them up, clean them up, and then we'll get into doing the sanding part. All right, so now what I like to do on something like this with all these bends is just go ahead and move right into your K600 sky pads and prep them out for blend with this because you have a lot of chance of burning all these areas now with all these tips that they have on a lot of these new parts. So this here K600 knocks it down quick enough and it gives it a nice scratch and you have a lot more control than you do with the DA and you're able to get it prepped out quick, nicely sanded, and uh, without burning it. So, All right, we've got our blends ready and our hood is now ready. We're just gonna go ahead and back tape this now, cover up the bottom, that way we don't overspray it. But when you're doing something like this that was a peeler, make sure you tuck your tape way underneath. That way you don't have a chance of missing paint on one of these edges here. So we've got this load in here. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, next job we're gonna go ahead and prep out is a Toyota Tacoma. We've got a new fender, a new flare, and then a blend on the door with a little bit of a repair on it. So you guys see that all the body men mark their parts with the RO number, what it's for, and how many parts we have for the job. That way when I'm looking at this, I know what I have actually for this job. So 
We're gonna go ahead now and get this one prepped out. We have a new fender. We'll hit this with 400 DA. We'll do our blend and then we'll prep out our raw flare. All right, so the flare is a raw plastic with the texture on it. So I like to hit these with a gray Scotch-Brite before we uh, get them in the booth. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our adhesion promoter on this thing. That way we have good bond. So I like to put a light scratch in it. You don't wanna go too much with the texture. And uh, that way you have a little bit extra other than just the uh, adhesion promoter. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and prep out our door for the blend, this was a repair on the front edge of this, so we are gonna have to duplicate our rock guard on this one. Once we get this prepped out, I'll show you how I do it off the car. This was already scuffed and clean prior to priming it. I like to get it already scuffed and clean on the uh, used parts before I prime it. That way it's one step closer when I go ahead and get it ready to prep. So we're gonna go ahead now, guide coat this and block out this area here where the bodywork was done. All right, so on this particular job here, we are gonna be using a little bit of a soft block and a smaller block because this has a lot of contours in it. This really isn't very straight. You've got all this area here that's round and it's hard to get in here with a real rigid straight block. So I'll use something straight, but I have something that's smaller and I'm able to get in these bends to uh, get this blocked out the way that it needs to, so. Now we'll hit it with our sky around the area just to cut it down and knock it down a little bit. Being this is a 600 grit, it'll refine it because there's a lot of valleys in here. And being I started out with the 400, you really don't have to refine it much, but this just does cut it down just a little bit and makes it a little bit smoother and uh, gets it ready. So this is now blocked and ready here. And now we'll go ahead and hit our blend. And then same thing on the blends on this one here. We hit it with our K600 with the sky pad around all the edges. Make sure you get it deep down inside all your handle holes and uh, around your window channels. That way you have good adhesion for your clear on the end of your blends. So we'll run around this and then we'll do the chip guard. All right, so while the fender and door are off, I like to go ahead and get my chip guard on the actual parts and line them up on the stands. That way they're dry when they go in the booth when you go to clean it. In case you have to sand this down to get the texture right, and I'll lay them on the stands like this, line them up. That way the gaps are in the right spot. And that way I can do my chip guard on the fender and the door as well. So we'll go ahead, we'll clean this. We'll get it prepped out in this area here. That way, once we put down our chip guard, we're good for adhesion. All right, so we're gonna hit it lightly with a little bit of etch on the bare metal areas before we put down our uh, chip guard. That way we have adhesion. This here you just missed on nice and light and we'll just hit that in the areas that we had a little bit of bare metal before we put our chip guard on it. All right, this is the product I like to use on my chip guard when there is no hard edge. This is like a tapered edge and uh, this here stuff works nice for Merca and leaves a soft edge. It's more of a flat foam. I've showed you guys this in a video before. We'll go ahead and line it up and uh, get this chip guard on it. All right, now that we've got it clean, this is the product that I use on the chip guard. This is a good product. It's in a can made by 3M, works good. It's a lot like the other 3M AccuSpray gun that they use. So now that we've got it clean and ready, we're gonna go ahead and just apply it. Just go ahead and blend it in like you normally do your normal paint job. And uh, just try to duplicate the texture that you have. You guys see there, it has a bigger texture. You can just uh, pull back and get your texture right. So now that we have that there sprayed, we're gonna go ahead and pull our foam while it's still wet. That way it'll lay down a little bit. All right, so this stuff is sandable. And what I like to do, being that this is a tapered edge, what I'll do is I'll take my sky pad and I'll lightly hit the top edge of the actual chip guard that we put on and knock it down a little bit. That way it tapers it in and gives it a nice gradual fade into the chip guard. So you guys see now it's more of a gradual fade than the actual hard line from the actual foam. So now that we got our chip guard, we're good. We don't have to worry about touching this when we go in the booth because it'll be dry. So I like to do that 
outside the booth and have it ready to go in case I do have to do a little bit of adjustment to get my texture in, I'm all set. All right, so you see the uh, Subaru, the hood's coming off and the new hood's going on. And then I'm gonna show you guys this here job all finished up. All right, so now we'll get this other bumper in there as well. That way we have a full load of parts. All right, so this will be our first load of the day. We've got a VW, Toyota Tacoma, and then we've got this Hyundai here with the peeler on it. So that's a decent load with this being a three stage. And we'll go ahead and get this thing cranked out and then we'll get our next load in here and we'll show you some stuff of what we're doing in between. All right, so this is the new TR800 from 3M, the VersaFlow. So they discontinued the filters on my old unit. Wasn't real happy about that because my unit still worked. And, uh, kind of strong army into having to get a new one but this is definitely a better system it's got a uh, charcoal canister in it that's sealed up that way you know that you're putting in a new filter as you do and this here unit is a uh, multi-speed it is a better unit so i'm happy about that and i'm glad that i have been uh able to pick one up so All right, so everything's sealed up. We've got our white epoxy on the hood that was bare metal. And then we went ahead and used our regular ECS on the uh, other parts that were already primed. So everything's going good. We've got this load in here and now we'll see what we're gonna be doing next. We've got the PDR guys, they're doing their thing over here. Some more of the hail damage that you guys seen in the last one. So just pushing them out. And uh, here's the uh, rest of the car that they're doing. So that's what's going on here on this side. And then the normal body man are building some of the jobs that we've painted now. So this here is a RAV4 that I did. We put a new door on this and we blended both ways. This is the one G3. And then we put a new front bumper on it. So this one's getting built right now. And then, then we have another body man over here. He's actually doing some uh, filler work. This here is a uh, Honda Odyssey that he's straightening. So just showing you what's going on. Then we got this here Tesla that has a quarter, an inner uh, panel going in and uh, just doing our normal day-to-day -day stuff. And this here's the uh, Subaru, it's getting washed right now. And once it's done, we'll be showing you that one too. This job really came out nice and uh, we'll show it to you guys once it's all dried off. And you guys can see here that we are very, very busy here at this shop. That's why you guys see me coming in early, trying to get caught up on what we've got here. We've got a full house in this shop right now. You guys see just the Teslas alone that we have. And uh, just that alone is hard to actually keep up with here. So. We got to do what we got to do. We got to come in early and we've got to uh, get a, a grasp on these jobs as soon as we get in here by planning the day ahead. That way, once we come in, we're able to get right on it and get them handled. All right, so the uh, Subaru is all done from cleanup and now I wanna show it to you guys. So check this thing out and look at how beautiful this thing came out. This here is the one with all the uh, hail damage that we had and look at the roof. You guys remember this roof was covered with dents. This cell panel here was covered with dents. The uh, trunk, quarters, doors, everything was covered with hail damage on this here job. And this is a 2023 car. So we wanted to leave as much of the factory paint on this car as possible. And you guys can see here, this is that quarter you guys seen in the video of the hail damage if you didn't go back and check it out. But look at how nice this job looks now that it's all finished up and washed up, ready for the customer. So we got our hood painted, we've got our sides done. And uh, this is just a quality, quality repair now that this job has and uh, to me it was the best repair that you could possibly do to this here uh vehicle so really really a nice job between us and the actual pdr company that did this and now we got a beautiful job for the customer so just wanted to show you guys this one here all finished up and how nice it definitely came out let's get back into the shop and uh finish out this day
All right, so everything is based out now, and then we're gonna go ahead now and move into our clear coat. I'm gonna hit it with two coats of the uh, 2021 clear, bake it for 30 minutes, and then pull this batch out, and we're gonna go ahead and prep our next batch out and get it loaded up. So this is our half day point. As soon as this is baking, I'll be eating, and then we'll be back in for round number two. All right, so that's the half of the morning, the first half of the morning. And now we'll go ahead, clean our gun, we'll hit bake, and that'll give me 20 minutes to eat as this stuff here is baking. That way we can prep out our next load and get it in the booth. So first half of the day is done. It's about 12.20 right now, and uh, we're rolling along pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead, clean this, and then we'll be back at it. All right, so these are gonna be the next victims. We got a Mustang quarter panel that I showed you this morning that we primed last night. Somebody else did a repair on this one here and it was really bad, so we had to fix it up for them. They brought it to us. They wanted us to strip it down, get all the filler out, and now we're gonna be uh, painting this quarter on it. So this is just a quarter. Then we have a door here on a Tesla that's straight black, so we're gonna be panel painting this as well. This one had a repair down here low. So we're gonna go ahead now and block these two jobs out and then we'll see what else we can get in the booth with it. And we still got time on the bake. You guys see the lights are off. So once this is uh, done, the lights will come back on. All right, so we're using the Fest tool and we're using the 320 on this one. And you guys see that it's cutting it nice and flat. And this thing here really works good, the uh, vacuum on it. So this is a nice quality primer here, the 2K urethane from uh, PPG that we use in the darker shade. I use this a lot of times on the darker colors and uh, these two were both black. So we use the darker one on it. So we're gonna continue blocking on it and get these two blocked out. All right, so our cars are ready now. We've got these two done. And uh, the lights just came on in the booth, so I'm gonna go ahead now, turn off the heat, put it back in spray mode. That way it'll uh, be ready. When I, once these cool off, we'll get them out. So you wanna let them cool off before you get them out of the booth because they're still definitely soft. And once they cool is when they really lock up and that's when the clear hardens up well. So we'll give them a minute. We'll let them cool. The cool air will come in. It just was raining here like crazy. And then we'll get these jobs out and we'll get these two other jobs in there. All right, so I came over to the parts bin and now I'm seeing we've got more of those helmets again. I guess it's that time of year again. If you guys followed me when I first got here, we had to do some helmets. So we've got two and this here is just so we can get the color for the helmet. So we're gonna be prepping out two helmets for the local uh, team here at the local high school and uh, getting these things ready for them. That way they're ready for their season. All right, so these are the helmets. We're gonna go ahead and knock them down quick with like 600 grit. And one thing we do have to do is make sure that you tape up the inside of the warning labels. That way these are certified helmets and uh, you wanna make sure you leave those warnings labels intact. Otherwise these helmets will be no good. So we've gotta prep them out and we'll get them in there as well. All right, so we've got our last load in here. I went ahead and found a new hood that we had in the bin. It's just a hood on a uh, Chevrolet. We got our two helmets and then we have our Mustang and our Tesla door over here that we're gonna be shooting. So 
We've wiped them down now. It's drying. You guys see here, it's still damp. So we're going to go ahead now and paint this, seal it, get these shot for the last load of the day. And then we still got to get everything primed up. So we're going to turn the booth on now and get this load rolling. All right, so this here job, we're still waiting on an actual part for this job here to move forward on it, but it is primed up for tomorrow. In case that part comes, we've already got it primed. That way we can just jump right on this one and roll with it. So that one there, this one here is also primed up. Also, we were waiting on a part for this one as well. So these Tesla parts sometimes uh, are on hold a lot and uh, they kind of slow things up sometimes, but we definitely have enough work to keep everything rolling. So this here is a bumper. We got to get this thing primed up, hit the rest of it, and we're going to go ahead and prime this one complete. And then we have some other parts that we're going to get primed up. All right, so I went ahead and primed everything up with the 2K. We had this bumper here. We had a Tesla fender that had a little damage in shipping. And uh, we went ahead and hit that. And then we hit a fender here for the Odyssey. That way this is ready to go for the morning. This primer will sit nice and uh, dry up hard. So I like to get my stuff primed up before my last load in the booth. That way, once I'm done in there, I'm done for the day. So this stuff is primed up. And now we'll go in here and we'll finish shooting up all the rest of the parts that we uh, have in there now. So we start off in the beginning of the day in the booth and we end at the end of the day in the booth. So that's the normal sequence of my day and what goes on here at the body shop. So we got that to come out nice and clean. Hopefully in the morning we have less dirt than we had this morning and we don't have to do any polishing at all. So, so far those jobs look really clean. Let's take a walk around the shop and see what the other guys got done and uh, what they accomplished here for the day. All right, so here's the Toyota Tacoma that we shot and uh, it's already going back together. You guys see here, it looks really good to the post. The color matches really good. And uh, we'll lower the hood down. I'll show you how nice this color looks to the fender. This is 1D6, so this is not an easy color. This is usually pretty bad. And uh, I went with the angle lighter bluer and did a little bit of cocktailing with it to uh, swing it around to what I needed. So looks good. Let's drop the hood and check it out. So here's one of the Teslas that uh, will be coming over to the paint shop probably sometime tomorrow. They still have a couple things to do to finish this one up, but uh, we'll be getting this one over there tomorrow. So we'll be able to prime that. So that way we can paint that one the next day. And uh, I think they put that uh, tailgate on that uh, Highlander that we did. So we're gonna go look for that real quick. All right, so here's the uh, Highlander that we did. The one this morning that was in the booth, it's built. And you guys can see that that color matches beautiful on that uh, three state 089. So this is all back together now and it's in detail. It's gonna get cleaned up and it'll be going home in the morning. So, so this is definitely a busy shop and you guys can see that. So not only am I doing Teslas and all kinds of production work, you guys know that we do some of the old school Cutlasses and some of the Corvettes and stuff like that from time to time. And we even do uh, football helmets now so you guys seen we did that last year if you didn't check out the video when i first came to this shop and uh, one of my first jobs was actually doing a whole load for the team of the helmet so i hope you guys like this video of what goes on for me from day to day and i'm going to be heading home now and you guys heard this morning i was listening to some stuff in my car i always listen to things to get me in the mood to work and different podcasts and different encouraging things. That way I can keep my mind focused on what I'm gonna do when I get here and I can just attack the day. So I hope you guys like this one and I'll see you on the next one.